Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Let's praise the Lord.
and we honor you, Lord. We give you all the glory. We give you the glory, God. Honor and praise. 
our hands and we give you all the glory, God. So take all of your glory, Jesus. Oh, honor and praise unto you. As we sing, so take all of your glory. Take all of your glory. Yeah. Honor and praise unto you. Honor and praise unto you. you. For you alone are worthy. For you are worthy. Take all of your glory this afternoon. Come on, sing it. So. Take all of your glory. Yes, Lord. Honor and praise unto you. Honor and praise unto you. For you are worthy. For you are worthy to be praised. Son of God. Come on, we can just lift our voice wherever you are. And you want be here.
of your glory, God. Take all of your praise. Take all of your praise. Take all of your glory. Take all of your praise. Lord bless you, our dear viewer. We thank God for you. It's always a great privilege to interact with you through this medium. We thank God for this day. This day is exceptional in many ways. One, because the Lord Jesus Christ has given you life and you're able to connect with this recording. Number two, because this day stands alone. There is no any other day like this one. In God's calendar, this day stands alone. And therefore, you are blessed to be living in the day that the Lord has made. We thank God for you and many thanks for creating time to be with us in this session. Today, we are continuing with uh, what we had established last week. We said that we'll be talking about giving. And last week, we talked about three areas of giving. We talked about giving your, 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 your money, your resources we also talked about giving your talent. We also talked about giving your time. You can always go back to our previous recording and interact with what we recorded. Our senior pastor helped us last week, and he's here today also to guide us here. But we also have our deputy senior pastor, Reverend Buire, with us today to share wisdom in giving. And therefore, let me just allow them just to say hi to you. Senior Pastor, Karibu Sana. Asante Sana, Brother Philip, and mm. our online viewers. Mm. We welcome you to this session, series we began last week on giving. Mm. And I know you will uh, be blessed. And as we said last week, if you have any question pertaining to giving, feel free to post, and we will answer them as we continue. God bless you. Exactly. And our Deputy Senior Pastor, Reverend Buire. Thank you, Elder Philip. Uh, greetings, uh, online viewers. It's always a joy uh, to share with you on this platform. And it's our joy, again, just to go to this particular uh, pertinent topic of giving. And we really welcome you, and we hope that you're going to enjoy. If any question or you have any comment, uh, you can really just put down there in the comment section, and we get back to you. Otherwise, welcome to this channel and to this topic of today. Thank you. Many thanks. Many thanks indeed. The Lord bless you. And so, Senior Pastor and our Deputy, we are continuing with the, the topic of giving. And the Word of God has established that there are several, there are various forms of giving. We are talking about tithe, we are talking about offering, and uh, what else? What else mm -hmm. comes to... Yes. Yeah, thank you. Well, yeah. uh, the, the Bible is loaded mm. with... Um, 
the, the different types of offerings. Mm. And by the way, the Old Testament talks of over seven types of offerings yes. that were given during the Old Testament system. Mm. Yes. And, uh, well, tithing is one. Mm. We have only one tithe, kind of tithing. Yes. But offerings come in diverse ways. Yes. In the Old Testament, we had things like sin offering, yes. burnt offering. Uh, we can mention a number of them. Yes. And they were given for a specific reason. Yes. Maybe this had happened, so they were told for you to be cleansed, you had to give this kind of offering. Yes. yes. For this has happened, you have to give this and this. So those yes. things were there. Yes. But as we also look at the New Testament, mm. we see things like uh, fast fruits yes. giving. It was mm. part of giving that when God has blessed yes. you with, the, with, the, with, the, with some things, yes. you come in and give your fast fruits yes. to the Lord. Wow. There was also that, um, uh, what we call... Uh, love offering. Yes. You, you just give out of love. Yes. You, you, you just want to thank God for what he's done in your life. Yes. So you, apart from the normal tithe and offering, mm. there were other many means of giving wow. that people were giving to God just to appreciate the wow. good things God is doing in their wow. life. Wow. Yes. So we are establishing that, that there are many forms of giving. Yes. 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 There are many. There are very many. Yes. As our senior pastor has said, mm. tithing is one. Mm. <laughs> Offerings are many. Yes. So we also have arms. <laughs> yes. You know, the giving of children homes, giving mm. to needy people. Yes. You know, that's a, a, another type of giving that we give. And that's not, that's not a tithe. Mm. It's, it's like an offering. There is yes. a thanksgiving. God mm. has blessed you yes. in a certain way with a job, with a car. Mm. And you just feel like you need to go back to God and say, thank you, mm -hmm. God. Yes. Yeah. So there are so many, time, many wow. times of giving. Wow. Mm -hmm. So you are saying that uh, you've just made an emphasis that tithe is not this other giving. That tithe st stands alone. Yes. yes, tithe is, is alone, mm. and our senior pastor must have mentioned it in the previous episode. Yes. It's a command. Yes, we we give, we pay tithe. Mm. Uh, somebody else has said that as much as other offering, you can decide when you will come to God. Yes, tithing is immediately once you receive it. Yes, you, you need to pay. As, yes, as much as the bill is supposed, to, it, it expires as you delay to give. Yes, wow. yes. Wow, <laughs> you see, um, uh, that it is becoming interesting yes. that you pay tithes. Yes. Yeah. You don't give tithes. Yes, <laughs> so yes. it's not optional. It's not optional. Senior, senior pastor. It's a command. Yes. Tithe is a command. You don't need to debate about yes. tithing. Yes. You can debate about how much should I give? Mm. Should I give a hundred? Should I yes. give a thousand? Yes. But when it comes to the issue of tithing, it's a command. Clear. Give tithe to God 10%. Yes. That is very clear. You pay. You pay. The way you normally deduct money that goes to bills and care, care, and care. care. Yeah, is a and better care. option and to yes. look at it because and if yes. you don't do it, mm -hmm. anyway, thank God that there is a grace. Is a <laughs> but as as mandatory mm. as care, mm -hmm. yes. so is as mandatory yes. as in the That's kingdom true. of God. In the kingdom now, of God. Now, I want us also to be clear on this. Are we blowing tithes out of proportion? You know, we are living in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we are living in the New Testament. Mm -hmm. And uh, uh, that is, is it still relevant? Is senior pastor, is tithe relevant in the New Testament? You know, the Bible is very clear, Elder yes. Philip, mm. that uh, Jesus is the same yesterday, mm. today, and forevermore. Yes. So whatever happened in the Old Testament mm. is still happening in the New Testament. Yes. Because the same Jesus mm. is the same yesterday, mm. today, and forevermore. Yes. I know there are people who want to bring some mis communication or misinformation yes. about tithing being an old kind of thing, an yes. old system kind of a thing. Yes. But the truth is that tithing is still happening even in this New Testament. Yes. And there are a lot of scriptures that can support that. Yes. That tithing is still there, is still continuing. Yes. And uh, I'm just reminded of um, a New Testament episode yes. of this family. Mm. Ananias and Sapphira. Yes. You know, these people were blessed of God. God yes. had blessed them. God had given them what they needed. Mm. And as they were going to give their tithe, mm. they lied to the Holy Spirit. This is a New Testament concept, not yes. an Old Testament concept. Yes. So this is something that is still working and uh, it, is, it is there. Mm. It is not something that has been closed out and people yes. are saying, now that's an old thing. We cannot tithe anymore. Mm. It is a continuous wow. thing. Yeah. Wow. Yeah, uh, uh, Deputy Senior Pastor. What comes to mind when you're talking about relevancy of tithing in the New Testament? Uh, I would want just to begin where our senior pastor has left from. Yes. When no Jesus came, 
Mm. He said that I have not come to abolish law. Mm. Yes. I have come to fulfill the same. Yes. Mm. And there were many laws, including the law of giving and many. And even yes. he said in some places that you have heard it said. Yes. I say. Mm. What you are saying is, I add. In mm -hmm. fact, when Jesus came, mm. his way of emphasis is that people were to do more. The mm. Old Testament, actually, mm. giving is relevant. Let me yes. answer that question first. Yes. It's relevant in the New Testament. Mm. And the New Testament came as a fulfillment of Old Testament. Yes. And people in the New Testament, mm. under giving, mm. while we were giving under law in the Old Testament, yes. in the New Testament is a grace of giving. Exactly. Mm. What that means um, to differentiate the grace, there is no, there is a gift of giving and there is mm. a grace of giving. We'll look yes. at that later. But I want to define to you what it means by grace. Grace mm. is more, is abundant. Now, when you have heard that it was 10%, when yes. Jesus was saying, do not just stop at 10%. Yes. I want to, 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 to start entering. Yes. How much can yes. you go much and give yourself? And you yes. can read that. In Second Corinthians chapter eight, mm. all the way to chapter ten, mm -hmm. yes. there is such a kind of lavish giving yes. that is exemplified by people. People yes. are begging to give. Now, yes. in the Old Testament, they were commanded to give. Mm. In this place, it's like you are going far much more. Yes. So, to just put it clearly, is Christ did not come to abolish it. Yes, giving is as relevant as it was in the New Testament. Wow. In the Old, Old Testament. Testament. Wow. Yes. Wow. And so, ah. Uh, you, you, you mentioned something about tithing and alms. Yes. yes. And uh, is there a clear difference? Very clear. Yes. One, mm. uh, there are people who think that um, maybe I've had it some quarters. Yes. That maybe I've given my tithe in the church and I've not seen them go and give certain children home. Yes. So let me take my material gift of money to a children home mm. or to a street yes. or to a certain cause. Yes. That is called alm giving. Giving like is a love offering that you give is is very distinction. Mm. The tithe was meant to be given in the church in mm. Malachi chapter three, yes. verse ten. Yes. Okay. It was meant to be taken in the house of God. Yes. Uh, and it was given fully. So that was not an arm. If yes. you'd want to give anything far much beyond your tithe, yes. That is where the love offering begins. Wow. Where's where the wow. arm giving? So wow. the arm is meant to support. Uh, people in different places wow. who are needy. So wow. there's a very clear difference. Wow. And arms are not tithes, and wow. tithes are not alms. Wow. Although the churches can get the tithe mm. and support uh, certain things outside. But you as an wow. individual, when you're wow. giving your offering mm. as an arm, mm. uh, that is specified for a certain cause. Wow. Helping those who are needy, wow. helping people in like refugees mm. and all that. So it's quite different. Wow. Yes. Very, very insightful. Mm. Senior Pastor, mm -hmm. what comes to mind when you're talking about this? You've just heard what our deputy has established. Mm. That there is a great difference between alms and tithes. Mm -hmm. Yes, and uh, alm is paid to church. I mean, tithe is paid to church. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And alms are given out there. And so we have a case where somebody is 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 uh, is uh, uh, complaining about their tithe. Are they justified to follow what their tithes are supposed to do? So that if the the tithe is not doing what's supposed to be done, they will now withdraw and pay where they <laughs> think. <laughs> yeah, that is a that's a that's a very controversial statement. Yes, because people are struggling with that to be very honest. Yes, but the truth. Tithe is God's portion. Yes. yes. Whatever the tithe does, that is not your business. Yes. That true. is God's portion. Mm. But now with the issue of offering, as pastor yes. just said, yes. uh, you know, offerings you can give willingly as God leads you yes. as part particular need. Yes. And that's why when somebody goes to a church, he can say, I'll give this amount of this yes. to this church. Mm. You go visit a children's homes, you say, mm. I'll buy this to this children's home. Yes. You're not using your tithe to mm. buy those things. Exactly. You are using your offering yes. to do that. Okay. So there's a, a big difference, and our viewers should understand this. Mm. The tithe is God's portion, and yes. we should not be tempted to divide it mm. and say probably out of this tithe, 2% will go to alms, 3% to this. You are doing yourself a, a, a disadvantage. You just need to tell God, yours belongs to you, but then I'll use my tithe yes. or offering to do what needs to be done. Exactly. So what we are saying, mm. alms should be given. Mm. As God blesses you because you are blessed differently. Yes. And we get 
blessing from different things. Maybe yes. you're a farmer, you have milk, you have vegetables, you have this, and there's a children's home somewhere close to you. Yes. There's nothing wrong mm. for you just taking your offering there yes. and blessing those people. Yes. But don't say I'm taking my tithe there mm. because my church doesn't bless this orphanage wow. or these needy people. Yes. That one you'll be going against the word, word of God. Of God. Yeah. yeah, you know, uh, DSP, we've just established, and uh, this, this, uh, what I'm, I'm talking about is that there are people who have this kind of behavior, wanting to follow up what their money does in church. Yeah, and uh, we've had cases where people would com can even complain, you know, that their money did not do. Are they justified to follow up, especially on tithe? Are they justified to follow up? The, uh, according to the Bible, mm. uh, God has chosen people to do their work. Yes. The work of appropriating money is mm. on the priests. Yes. The greatest work of a believer in terms of accountability to follow up money is to pray for their spiritual leaders mm. and the people that appropriate money. Yes. To use them wisely. Yes. I don't know to what extent do people do follow up because some people get agitated as mm. if they are giving their money uh, with designated use. Because, mm. you know, when God allows the pastors, the deacons, the elders, yes. maybe we speak as sit mm. um, you, you realize that God has given wisdom. Mm. And it's not being proud, but you realize that we are accountable even before some Excellent. people come to yes. ask. Mm. But people are not justified to really go and do their... That's not their work, actually. It's mm. not their work. Their mm. work is to come to church, mm. give that tithe, and yes. pray for the ministers. Exactly. Sure. But out of Greece and yes. out of where Sitam has been, yes. we really thank God that members can actually ask yes. because the constitution allowed. But from yes. the biblical point of view, mm. and you trust your pastor, I don't think it would be wise, mm. in my own opinion, mm. for you to really say, ah, I thought this money will come. I wanted to make a door. I wanted to buy for me a good chair yes. and all those kind of things. Mm. So they are not justified per se in the, mm. in the Bible. Yes. But God obligates mm. they that are receivers and the custodians of the same money yes. to appropriate it well. So yes. for them, their task is to pray. After mm. they give, it's to pray. Yes. yes. So what advice will you give to somebody who yes. feels mm. that they, are, they want to hold back what God has directly Mm -hmm. Commission uh, 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 told them, you know, mm -hmm. to give, but they are holding it back, saying that until I identify a need, so that I'll go and do that need. And we've had cases where, mm -hmm. in other quarters, mm -hmm. where somebody <clears throat> says, "I don't want to give directly, but I want to start a project, a construction project in the church with my tithe." Um, I want to answer that question. It's yes. quite. Uh, it's also controversial. Mm. But you know the the Greek word for giving mm. is meditinai. <laughs> yes, it means giving yourself. Yes, mm -hmm. and giving your time. Mm. Sure. My friend, you cannot give yourself even to a church, mm. and you feel like when I've given my time, I'm doubting mm. because one of the things that actually make many people to struggle in with these yes. kind of questions. Mm. And I would want to bring in is maybe they're asking themselves, are they in a place where they feel they are being spiritually fed? Mm. Are they in the right place? Yes. If that question is answered very mm. well, yes. then my advice to the people will be give yourself. Mm. You know, when you give yourself wholly, you mm. will not withhold anything. There is yes. a song say, I'll give myself to you withholding nothing. nothing. Yes. So my advice to them would be to introspect. If they have really given themselves. Because you cannot give me anything mm. until you give yourself to me. Wow. And you know, we give ourselves wow. to God first. Yes. Then our material just comes out of outflow. By the way, we don't wow. give even back to God. Wow. Yes, it's God wow. who has given us. Wow. We are just telling God that we are not so materialistic mm. in these things that mm. you've been able to give us. Yes. So for my advice to them, as I've said, is for them to introspect. Wow. Are they in the right place? Wow. Is their heart with God? Wow. Is their heart found a true fellowship. Wow. Mm -hmm. Yes. Wow. Very, very insightful. Senior pastor, yeah. that mm -hmm. giving starts by with an individual. That's true. You have to give yourself first. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Once you've given yourself first, then you'll find that it's not even hard to give from your resources. That's true. Mm -hmm. Very, very profound. That's true. Yes. Giving is a nut issue. Mm. Even as we mentioned last week, Yes. 
because it is in the heart of God. Yes. So it's a nut thing that mm. uh, you, 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 you need to begin by looking at your heart. Mm. No wonder Jesus questioned the Pharisees that people are very good in tithing, mm. but you have forgotten some very key things, wow. yes. like yes. mercy, justice, mm. wow. and, and those yes, kind of yes, things. Yes, yes. Wow. So giving is a hard thing that if it is taken wow. from the heart, it yes. becomes a blessing. Wow. Mm. And just to build on what he was saying about tithing and offering, mm. We, we, we need to put this out clearly. Mm. I know we, we come from different denominations. Yes. There are people who strongly believe that uh, 10% belongs to the pastor. A hundred percent. Yeah, it happens. Yes. yes. And the, they say offering is for business of the church and other yes. things like that. Yes. Mm. Which still is good, but uh, mm. we also need to call for leadership. Because if leadership is not there, that's mm. where there's a problem. Mm. Because when a pastor gets the entire tithe and goes with it mm. and things are suffering <laughs> in the church, that's a big, big issue. Yeah, exactly. And that's why leadership is very, very important. Wow. No wonder wow. in a church like Sitam, yes. we have, uh, we combine both mm. tithes and offering together, yes, yes. but we have that kind of a clear accountability yes. on how these tithes and offering are being used. Exactly. But you find in many congregations mm. when tithe is given, yes, it belongs to God, mm. but people don't really have a clear cut of mm. what Mm. The money is doing. Is it for the pastor? Is this mm. the pastor alone that is serving in the ministry? Yes. Because there are so many people serving exactly. in, in the church. Yes. And, and, and it should be clear that once this thing comes, mm. there should be a clear cut on what wow. needs to be done. And that wow. becomes a blessing. Wow. Yes. Very, very insightful. Mm. And that makes it very, very clear that tithe is paid to an entity called a church. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Where, where, is, it, is, is that right? That is right. Yes. And I also wanted to add something else. Yes. You know, we had earlier mentioned that people can give mm. alms elsewhere. And yes. you mentioned like offering. Mm. What you are just trying to say is tithe cannot be given elsewhere. Yes. But offering can also and is also allowed. You can mm. actually give your alms as a designated offering yes. through your church. You mm. go and tell on that envelope and say, Pastor, apart from my tithe, over and above this, I've given this to go. Uh, to go and do this task. Yes. So, um, back to your question. Yes. You asked me um, something? Yes. Mm. We were just building on what Senior mentioned, yes. that uh, whether tithes should be paid to an individual. Yes, yes. So, it goes to the church. Yes. And uh, Senior has put it very clearly. Yes. Different denominations have yes. different ways. Yes. But a clear way of doing it mm. is that when tithe comes, mm the leaders are able to appropriate it for the right use. Yes. It's not yes. meant for me to be a pastor. Eh? Yes. Actually, this discussion, with all due respect to my seniors, is not meant to make people to think that this is now going to go to, to church. Because mm. some people, church means pastor. Yes. That's what we are not saying. We are trying yes. to say that if we really worshiping God holy, mm -hmm. why are you withholding a command? Mm -hmm. Yes. Like mm -hmm. giving. That's yes. true. Yes. Which is an obligation to mm. you as a believer. So yes. it goes to church. Yes. Yes. You see, beside tithing to the church, I've seen around our circles, and uh, this is a plus, mm -hmm. because I've seen, you know, cases where the church is also collecting arms mm -hmm. to go and help people in, uh, like, currently, they, there's, there's a, we are, we, the president just the other day yes. uh, announced and declared drought a natural, mm -hmm. a national disaster. Yes, yes. Yeah, mm -hmm. and so we've had cases where the church is coming in mm -hmm. and asking congregants to come and give on a different basket. That's true. That's yes. right. You yes. Know, you can, um, as we have ma mentioned, is, you know, um, the collective responsibility of giving alms can yes. be both individual yes. and can be done by, from a church setup. Mm -hmm. Yes. Can be done at a group, maybe at a workplace. You yes. see a need. Mm. It's, the greater impact is that if your church is large, you can mm. actually own up a good project yes. and do a great thing. So mm. that's quite allowed. That's quite in order. Mm. Yes. Yes. Mm -hmm. So the church can also collect arms. Yes. Yeah. And people can willingly bring arms. Yes. 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 And yes. also sometimes yes. as I build on what he's saying, mm. depending with how people are faithful to God. Yes. yes. If people are faithful in their tithing and offering, mm. Even giving alms from a church perspective will yes. become very easy. Mm. Let me use an example of our, our church system. Yes. Because of our giving, we have set aside a percentage yes. that is always given out as, mm. as, as an alm to yes. different organizations, yes. different institutions. Mm. And this can even trickle down to the church setup. Yes. That if, 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 a, if a congregation can give 
mm. very well yes. that we have enough in the house of God. Yes. It, the, I don't see the reason again of telling people to bring give towards this particular thing. Yes. The reason why sometimes we go to that extent mm. is that when we look at maybe our giving in tithe and offering, yes. we're still wanting. Yes. So we need to call them to also give mercy, mercy yes. and those kind of things towards yes. the people who are needy. Exactly. But my plea is that if people obey this command yes. and people give faithfully, mm. the way we pay our tax without mm. even being being forced, yes. then uh, things will happen differently. Yes. yes. Of course, there's no coercion. Yeah. Yeah. You mentioned that. Yes, yes. That, no coercion. Yes. Giving is supposed to be voluntarily. Yes. It's out of love. Mm -hmm. Yes. It's out of realizing you know, Jesus loved the whole world. Mm -hmm. He gave his son. Yes. I normally tell people when you love, you give. Yes. Even in your own marriage, mm -hmm. you will always show love by giving. Yes. You cannot see a man who is stingy and mm. yet claims to love someone. Yes. If you, you love uh, your neighbor, yes. you'll be concerned to one time or the other. Yes. Sure, because you cannot actually love must be expressed. Mm. Wow. And giving is an expression yes. of our love. It's an expression yes. of our worship. It's an expression of our relationship. Yes. Yes. Be wow. Mm. Wow. And so there is this area that I want us to make a bit to create some emphasis on. Mm. Uh, senior alluded to it mm. earlier, but I want us to draw a clear line. Mm. Whether tithe can be divided. Can divided? What do can you mean? We, can <laughs> we divide tithe? <laughs> now, a very, very practical example. Yes. You are working in a city. Yes. And you attend a church in a city. Mm -hmm. But there's also that village church yes. back at home. Mm -hmm. And they know that our son is working in a city. Mm -hmm. And he has a responsibility to stand with this church. And so you as an individual are saying that on my 10%, 10% mm. I will give 5% to a town with city church and another 5% will go to my village church and I will have given my 10%. No, yeah, tithe. Mm. Uh, senior will be saying something after I've said this. Yes. Um, uh, tithe is supposed to be given wholly to the house of God. Yes. And tithe is supposed to be given where you fellowship, mm. where as a family you consider I, my children, and every person worship. Mm. As much as, and we talk about regular attendance, you cannot yes. be working in Nairobi and you are regular in two churches because mm. you must sure. be regular in one. So That's true. You yes. must be able to say whether you are regular at home, mm -hmm. give you a type 10% mm -hmm. in your home church. Mm. If you are regular church where you are fed regularly is yes. in the city. Mm. Now, your tithe belong to the city. So, mm. two aspects in that particular yes. answer. Where do you regularly go to church? It yes. cannot be two. Yes. It cannot be 50-50. Yes. And then it is holy. Mm. Uh, whole, whole. W-H-O. Yes. yes. Holy to that particular place you mm. choose. Yes. Wow. An mm. emphasis, Senior, on that line. Yeah. I, I know so many people are really struggling Mm. with this aspect of home church and town church mm. is a real thing and a real time. Mm. And uh, I always ask myself, if today I go to a car hotel in Eldoret mm. and eat there, mm. they have a small hotel in Londiani. Mm. Where will I go and pay my bill? <laughs> if I go pay my bill in Londiani, I'll be taken to prison. Yes. So it is important to pay where you, you eat. Yes. The storehouse, God is very, very clear that bring all your tithe yes. in my storehouse. Yes. And your storehouse is where you are fed spiritually wow. each and every other day. Wow. Mm. If you take it somewhere, you are missing God's spiritual principle wow. on giving. Wow. But for those who feel they have attachment with their home churches, mm. there's nothing wrong with loving your church. You can take a love offering. Exactly. Yes. When they have a building project, mm. you can send some cement to them. Yes. When they are doing certain things, you can do that, but that should not be your tithe. Yes. It should be a love offering. offering yes. You are doing it as a son, as a daughter of that home. Yes. And when you do that faithfully, God is going to bless wow. you. But tithe should go where you are a member, where you attend every other Sunday, and that's wow. where you should be paying your wow. tithe and God wow. is going to bless wow. you. Yes. You know, I just like the idea where you've picked from the book of Malachi that bring you all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's what our DSP was emphasizing mm -hmm. on. Mm -hmm. That you bring the all. That's yes. true. A all is given to a place where you attend regularly. Yes. A all is not and a quarter, it's not yes. a half, mm. it's full tithe, full yes. tithe to the house of the Lord. Wow. Yes. And yes. many people are struggling with that. No wonder. The heavens is still closed. Mm. Mm. The moment they'll begin bringing the 
all tithe in the house of God, mm -hmm. they will begin experiencing the open wow. heaven wow. towards them. Wow. And that's something very real. Wow. Yeah. And you know what, DSP? The Bible says that, try me in this. Yes. God said, try me. You know when God is mm -hmm. daring you? Mm. When God is daring you. Sure. And yes. this is one area where we are seeing God daring. Yes, yes. He's actually giving us like a commandment with a promise. Yes. Um, and it's quite interesting. Yes. I saw somewhere else, I can't remember, mm. that somebody saying that I have not seen mm. where a generous person mm. has ever lacked. The person that is given to giving mm. has ever lacked. Wow. Because the secret of receiving, mm. while it's not a command, mm. when you start giving, mm. Uh, the many things overflow. It's wow. like, uh, and it, it, there is what we call the salty legs. Mm. You know, if you find legs that are not having outlets, mm. like Giza Tumaji, yes, mm. you realize that the water becomes salty. Yes, but the fresh water legs, they have a lot of inlets. Yes, even a few inlets. Wow. I also wanted to add to that particular point by mm. saying mm. two things actually. Before we forget, there was a man. Mm. I can't remember his name. He's mm. a, a great author. Mm. There's a time he used to give very little to God. Yes. But God blessed him mm. to the level that he was able to convert the, that, that triangle yes. where we give 10% mm. as tithe. Mm. So he reached a place whereby he was keeping 10% and then 90% was being wow. given to the work of God. I don't know whether it's Rick Warren. He's a yes. great author. Mm. And he mentions in one of his books that God was able to bless him Wow. Quite a lot. Wow. Uh, when he did that, he realized that wow. the outflow of the blessing of God came. Mm. Wow. I want to use that analogy also to say mm. why some people also debate in terms of giving 10% to church. Mm. Mm. People think that the 10% is the largest they can give to God. Yes. And that is a misconception. Wow. Imagine God can bless you to the level that you can faithfully give 10% to your home, to your local church or where you go regularly. Yes. And all things that you think you can do elsewhere. Mm. You can lavishly extend another fifteen percent. Wow, wow! And it's quite possible because there is a misconception of people think that to God, ten percent is what we can give. And what we are saying in this conversation is, ten percent is the bare minimum. Wow! Out of love, you can actually go beyond and do all those other things you are seeing. Wow! Uh, with uh, a greater percentage wow. of your pay wow. or your income. Wow! Yes, very, very insightful. Very, very insightful. And senior pastor. We are bringing this to a close. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You can just pray with our audience. They have heard what we have talked about, and uh, by the help of the Holy Spirit, their understanding has mm -hmm. been sharpened. Mm -hmm. I want you to pray with them. Some of them are struggling in the area of giving. Some of them did not know, and now they know. That's true. We just want to pray that the Holy Spirit will help them sure. to be faithful, even as they handle God's blessings. Thank you. Thank yes. you, Elder. Mm. As we pray, I want to tell our viewers that uh, all blessings come from heaven. Mm. And because all blessings come from heaven, mm. we must insist to make that heaven open. Mm. And the only way we can insist to make that heaven open is by faithfully giving our tithes and offering. Mm. That's the only way. That's the biblical way that we know. If you want the heavens open, Please insist that my heaven will be open by doing what is right in the eyes of God. Mm. And uh, when we do the right things, I surely believe God is going to bless you. Don't struggle about mm. tithing and offering. You might have taken even a loan. And you're wondering, Pastor, how should I pay my tithe and have loans that I need to pay here and there? I want to encourage you. Just give what belongs to God and you'll experience what God can do. There are certain problems, devour us that you are facing now simply because you don't want to obey the word of God. But I challenge you, mm. just test God and see what God is able to do for you. And you'll be a happy man, a protected person because you are doing what is right. So don't be a liar, don't be a thief, mm. just give what belongs to God and you'll see the blessings of God flowing towards you. And this is just a disclaimer. We don't give God because God lacks we give God because we want to appreciate him for the many things he has done to us. So when you give, you're just appreciating God. And when you appreciate God, he will continue blessing you in a special way. Let's pray together mm -hmm. this afternoon, even as we purpose to be faithful in the little that God has given us in Jesus' name. Mm -hmm. Our Father and our God, we come before you again this afternoon with thanksgiving in our hearts. 
We want to thank you, Lord, for this spiritual principle that you're helping us to uncover. The Lord giving tithing is in your heart. And I pray the Lord, your blessing, our viewers, your blessing, Christians in all over, Christians in different churches, so God, you're causing them to know that this is a command. The Lord, as they tithe, they are just obeying the commands. As they give, oh God, they're just doing what is in your heart, oh God. And I want to pray that you are touching this family, you are touching this young man, you are touching this person in his business, in his farm, oh God, that they are going to be faithful to you. I pray that these scriptures will be real in our lives, even as we worship you through our tithes and offering. Bless us and forgive us, O God, even for not doing what is right. We pray the Lord, you'll help us do the right things so that our heavens will be always opened upon us, O God. And as we enjoy the blessing, as we enjoy the protection, we'll say this is what God is able to do. We thank you and we worship you. In Jesus' name I prayed. Amen, amen, amen. 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 The Lord amen. bless you indeed, amen. men of God, senior pastor and our deputy senior pastor, for having uh, clarified and uh, made it look very, very simple that giving is actually honoring God. And I like what you say, that you give yourself first. Mm, that one nice. came out very, very profoundly. We thank God for you. We are praying that the Lord will continue to replenish you, Amen. even as you serve his purposes. Sure. The Lord bless you. Amen. And for you, our viewer, it was nice to have you. Until we meet again, stay blessed.